nothing too hard for our God. Even when you're going through, y'all, I can speak for myself. There is nothing too hard for God. When you are weak, he is strong. When you are weak, I'm speaking to my own spirit. He is strong. He is a keeper. He is a sustainer. He is a deliverer. Holy, holy. He is God. Yes, he is. Everything that you need. Everything that you need. Everything. Sometimes we had to get that in our spirit. That you need. Everything. He's that wheel in the middle of the wheel, y'all. You know that wheel get to turning in your life. It's like an old tornado. It go, yeah. But guess what? He is everything. When they was out on the sea, he stopped the waters, y'all. That's how powerful our God is. He is everything. But we have to learn to let go and let God. We tend to want to solve our own problems. We have to give it to him. Why? Because he is holy. Holy means that he is the most purest, pure God. So we're going to go to prayer. Right now, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for being who you are over my life, over all of our life, over the ones on the Facebook life, Instagram. We thank you right now, Father. We give you honor and we give you praise because there is nothing too hard for you, God. He said, taste and see that I am good. There is nothing too hard for you. So I pray right now, Lord, that your spirit continue to be in the midst. Take us from dimension to dimensions to dimensions on the day. That somebody receive a blessing on the day, Lord. I declare it and decree it. It's in the house. Amen. 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 Give God some praise. Yes, God. We just want to welcome you to Wilson Heights, my body here with me, and those out in the land, Facebook, Instagram, you are welcome, welcome. We thank God that you saw fit to be with us today. Now, what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to transition in over into our givings. So don't let the spirit die down because this is another way of giving, y'all. We have to learn that there's so many different ways to be given to God. You can give in your service. You can give in your tithes. And you can give of your heart when you're intimate with him. Amen. So we're going to pray over our, service, our offering at this time. Most kind and gracious Father, we come before your throne. Thank you, Lord. For those that have to give, Lord, and those that don't have to give. Bless each hand, Lord Jesus. How they give, whether it be in service, Lord. Bless them right now, Father. That it may be for the building of your kingdom. Not our kingdom, but your kingdom. You said give and I will give it back to you. Good measures pressed down, shaken together, and running over in our bosom, Lord. So we thank you right now, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the things that's getting ready to happen, Lord. I'm a foreseen person. I look out in the future and I already giving God thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You know, God is able to do exceeding and abundantly of all that we could ask for. He is a he's a strong God. He is a mighty God. He is able. You know sometimes I didn't figure out how I was going to make it or how I was going to get through or how I was going to get to the next point in my life as far as my money, my kids, my job, my place of living. But God seemed to just pick me up and turn my Ooh. 
whole life around. My whole life around. And for that, I am grateful. And I will forever praise his name because he never left me. He never left me.
don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Don't give up, don't give up. them over to the Egyptians. <laughs> Don't you give up because I'm able to provide everything that you need. If he can do it for Moses, he will do it for you. Don't give up. If he can do it for Jacob, because Jacob didn't believe. <laughs> but God didn't give up. So you can't give up. Come on, come on, yes. Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Come on, people in the building. I need to talk to some folk. I need to talk to some people who are real this morning. Who says, I have been in a place because of life circumstances. Listen to the song, Don't Give Up on God. I need some folk who are willing to be real. That at certain times in life, that what was going on, you almost was like, God, where are you? God, you don't see me. God, you don't hear me. God, what's going on? And in the midst of it, the enemy almost tricked you to almost giving up on God. But I'm so thankful that when I was in that place, that God did not give up on me. And because of that, I was able to say, God, thank you for bringing me through. Thank you for making a way. God, thank you for watching over me. God, thank you that you are a God who never gives up. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need you to go give up on God's praise. Come on, take it up there.
Come on, sanctuary. Those who are here, come on, say, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. He's been too good to me. I'm not going to give up. He's blessed me so much. I'm not going to give up. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. I know it looks like the enemy is getting the upper hand. I know it seems as if you're not going to make it through. I'm not giving up, God. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to keep on trusting you. Come on, Facebook. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Come on. Come on, those inside the building. Come on. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Make a declaration. Make a decree over your life right now. I'm not giving up. The devil wants you to give up. But I'm not giving up. The devil is trying to get you to give up. I'm not going to give up. The devil is convincing you to go in the town. I'm not going to give up. I know it's hurt. I know it's painful. I know you've been enduring. I know you've been persevering. I know it seems confusing. I know it seems as if you're not going to make it. But you ought to just speak over your life. Speak into your life. You don't be pastor for this. Come on, Facebook. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm keep trusting you. I'm going to keep believing in you. Because great is thy faithfulness. Morning to morning, new mercies I see. All I ever needed, your hand has provided. That's why I'm not giving up. Because great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Lord, look to thee. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm amongst the people in the sanctuary and amongst those who are joining us virtually, who are declaring over their life right now, they're not going to give up. And it's not to say, God, that they don't have reasons to give up because they live in this world and the enemy is the prince of this world and he's throwing every fiery dart at them for them to give up. But God, right now, in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit. They're declaring over their life they're not giving up. They're not giving up, God. Because you won't give up on them. Through the tears, through the heartache, through the pain, through the suffering, they're making a declaration, I'm not giving up. And I'm going to speak life over them right now. Facebook, come on, YouTube. Come on, those in the sanctuary. It yet does not yet appear what you shall be. That's why you don't give up. Because God has something greater for you. Mm. And so God, right now, give us a word so that we continue on in you, God. Matter of fact, that's the very reason why I'm here this morning. I fought everything I could to get here. Because I believe that there was something in store for me. And you have something. So now hide the preacher behind the cross. Mm. Speak through his lips, God of clay. Fashion him and phone him to speak only what thus says the Lord. Create in him a clean heart. Do a right spirit inside him, so none of him hinders what you desire to do in the life with your people. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us right now. Holy Spirit, have your way. Take your people from faith to faith and from glory to glory. God, save somebody who's lost, but clean somebody who's a backslider. Add more labors to your harvest field. <laughs> We're thanksgiving happy to hear from you right now. And that is why there's such a sweet spirit in this atmosphere. Not only here within the building, but wherever your people are right now worshiping you and praising you. Hmm. God, thank you this morning that you don't give up on us. That you're a God who changes not. So God, thank you. Mm. And I need you to give a God 
that I won't give up kind of praise right now. Hallelujah. Come on, Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Come on, give them a I'm not giving up type of praise. Oh, see, y'all trying to play. Y'all trying to play church. Y'all trying to be cute. I need somebody right now whose life is on the line. I need somebody right now. I need somebody who suffered through some stuff. Come on and say, this praise right here, this worship right here, is because I'm not giving up. Come on, come on. I'm going to get to the scripture, but I need somebody right now. In the name of Jesus. See, I'm getting ready to make the devil real mad because he messed up and allowed me to join on Facebook, YouTube. He messed up and allowed me to get into the service. But this morning, I'm not, I'm not giving up, not giving up. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up. I'm pressing on, I'm moving on, I'm climbing on. Uh, whew. Uh. I need somebody who's not scared to let the Lord know and let hell know I'm not giving up. Come on, come on. Come on, Facebook. Come on, Facebook. I want you to chat right now and say, the devil is a liar. He thought he had me, but I'm not giving up. The devil is a liar. He thought he got the best of me. Oh, but God is getting ready to turn that thing around and make it work out for my good. The devil is a liar. He thought I was getting ready to give it all up. But in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring today ah, that God's favor, his prosperity, I shall walk in, I shall live in, I shall prosper in. He thought he had me. He thought it was over. Uh, but he messed up and allowed me to hear this worship. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, I need somebody right now that's declaring, say, in the name of Jesus, I need somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, I need somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over my life, over my family, over my children, over my home, over my grandchildren, over my money, over my career, over my mind, over my body, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I feel like somebody want to have church this morning. I feel like we have a church this morning. I got, see, I got see, a problem. I, I got musicians who's playing with me. They playing with me. I, I, I got musicians over there who are, who are, who are terrible, who, who tickling me. Don't tickle me like that. Don't tickle me like that because I give God some praise. In the, come on, Facebook. I, I, I need somebody right now. Say, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Come on, don't. Come on, give me a 30 seconds. Give him a praise right now. Come on, come on, come on. I need somebody. Come on, Facebook. Come on, say, Pastor, you just don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting ready to shout right now in my kitchen, in my living room. I'm getting ready to pull over my car and give God some praise. <laughs> uh, stop, stop, stop. Come on, AJ. Come on, come on, Santa. Come on, LaMail. Don't play with me like that. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I got I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of God. I want you to do something. Come on, Facebook. I want you to do something. Chat real quick. I want y'all to do something here in the sanctuary. I want you to throw your head back and say, I'm not giving up. Uh, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Don't, don't stop, stop. Y'all see me live. Y'all see me live. I'm trying to tell them to stop. They, I'm trying to tell them, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to preach this word this morning, but I need to make sure. Mm. I want you to do something real quick. Come, come on, come on, Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Come on, people in the sanctuary. Y'all look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 
You just don't know. I almost gave up. I almost gave up. But look back at him and say, but I feel my help coming on right now. Oh, see, y'all missed a place to shout. Look at him and say, I feel my help coming on. Woo! Put your hands together. I don't know who needed that. Mm. God, thank you for not giving up on us. While you continue to worship and just acknowledge him in his divine presence, wherever you are. I feel, I feel the power of God in this place. Come on, Facebook. I, I sense something's breaking loose even where you are right now. Hallelujah. Come on, YouTube. I, I, sense, I sense some homes are being transformed right now in the name of Jesus. Whew, I feel it. Ah. I'm speaking right into your place right now. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm intruding upon where you are right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm speaking life over you right now. You shall live and not die in the name of Jesus. Mm. <laughs> uh. Come on, give me a little bit of that. Come on, come on. Mm. Mm. Ah, I feel the power of God right now as the Lord is ministering. Mm. Oh. Come on, I don't hear nobody.
Come on, we are talking. Come on, come on, Facebook. Come on, YouTube. Come on, come on. Just keep playing that. Just keep humming that ever so slightly, if you would. I'm going to do this in 10 minutes. Y'all believe it? <laughs> Catch this. Go with me to Psalms 111, verse number 1. Come on, keep it, keep it going. Keep it going ever so softly. Come on, Facebook. Psalms 111, verse number 1. Psalms 111. Verse number one. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Version of the Bible. Psalms 111. Come on. Just keep singing that. Come on. I don't hear you. Come on. Mm, I feel something in the atmosphere. Catch this. Psalms 111. Verse number one. The Amplified Version says this. Uh, it solidifies what has taken place within the sanctuary and I believe even among you wherever you are in Facebook and YouTube uh, listen to what listen to what the psalmist wrote says this praise the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company of the upright and in the congregation Amen. Just keep singing that. Just keep singing. Just keep playing that. Come on, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company of the upright and in the congregation. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be dealing with this as a as a theme for not only Thanksgiving, but throughout this Christmas month coming up in December, I'm going to be dealing with the blessing of fellowship and gathering. And, and this morning, this morning, I, want, I just want to, I'm just going to touch upon this because there's such a sweet spirit in the, in, in the place and even where you are on Facebook and YouTube. This morning, I want to deal with Mother, Mother Sarah Wright. I want to deal with praise in the fellowship. Praise in the fellowship. Just just, just bring it down just a little bit, but I want you to keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Because in essence, in essence, praise in the fellowship is what, what transpired Reverend Betsy Davis this morning. Even right now, other, other places of worship has come together for fellowship. Whether we do it in person or whether we do it virtually, uh, it is a time of a gathering of, a, of those who are like-minded, who are coming to surrender their will to the will of the Father. Minister Loretta, one of the things that we do in the midst of fellowship and the coming together, it is in essence when we come into the temple or the sanctuary, we come with a mindset that this is not about me. This is about who God is. And, and, and you know, one of the things that we've had to do since the pandemic has started because large fellowships, small fellowships, and even medium-sized fellowships have been disparaged or we have not had the opportunity to do such. And because of that, uh, as we're starting to reopen and we're starting to gather back together, we're having to reacquaint ourselves of fellowship. We're having to reacquaint ourselves with gathering. We're having to we're having to prepare ourselves mentally and, and emotionally to be back within a fellowship of people. Why? Because as dealing with the pandemic, our minds are on wearing our masks. Our, our, our minds are uh, on the temperatures, and our, our minds can be on if somebody is vaccinated or not. And I, and it's not to say that we should not think of those things because we want to practice safety. But one of the things that it does do it limits our mind to fully be focused in on the things of God. 
Oh my God. And so therefore, uh, as we as we come back together, uh, I'm sensing that we're having to learn how to have fellowship again. Oh, see, see, uh, we're, we're having praise team, uh, Brittany and Sister Tanya. Uh, it, it seems as if you got to go a little deeper in your prayer life and in your devotion because, because people are sitting here and look at you as if they're blind, crippled, and crazy because we've lost our sense of fellowship and gathering. And to understand, you know, I, I, I've been watching and as I've seen on Facebook and as I've seen in other social media scenes, as it will see people at stadiums and they remember how to celebrate their team. We see people in restaurants gathering and fellowshipping and they have remembered how to have fellowship over food. Uh, we've seen people in, in go to the malls and, and, and gather in their favorite places of, of shopping places and, and they, they, they learn how to reacquaint themselves around the mall. I'm, I'm kind of guilty of that myself. Uh, 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 and, and we've seen people in, for the first time uh, uh, in a long time, maybe two years, uh, this, ho uh, this holiday opportunity have plans to reestablish their fellowship and gathering with their families after being so disconnected connected from one another and it seems to be somewhat easy but but there seems to be a difficulty in reacquainting ourselves in the fellowship of the Lord <laughs> and to realize that coming to church I'm talking to your Facebook I'm looking at you don't leave me now is that we must realize that fellowship in the sanctuary in the temple isn't about us that fellowship and gathering as the body of Christ or for those who are hurting or those who may be seeking a Jesus, a Lord to transform, to deliver and to liberate them is a little different. Because this isn't about what we bring. It's about who he is. Okay, and so because our mindsets, Brother Damien, oftentimes has been, I'm going to church to get what I desire or what I want or what I need from God. And yes, when I fellowship, I do believe in my praises go up, blessings do come down. But I must realize that it's not about God being a bellhop. It's about him being in his presence in the place. Because wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Oh, I feel something happening there. Matter of fact, I believe that's what, that's, that's what happened this morning in our worship, in, in our praise. There was a sense of liberty, freedom, a releasing of what the enemy was using to try to get me to give up. And so here it is, we find in this psalm, this psalmist speaks to, I believe, where we are. A psalmist, we do not know who he is or who wrote it. But what we do know is the psalm, it's a psalm of praise in the midst of fellowship. The psalmist says, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In essence, to give God the highest of praise. Hallelujah is the highest vernacular of praise that we can give unto the Lord. But when we say hallelujah, it's because we acknowledge who he is. He says, praise the Lord. The Lord respecting, the uh, honoring the sovereignty of who God is. The, uh, the, the, the honoring, the power of God, the awesomeness of God. Or because his Old Testament, him being El Shaddai, him being Elohim, him being Jehovah. Praise the Lord, the God who is God, who says die, that I am, that I am. He says, praise the Lord. There's already a spirit of worship. But then catch this, one of the things that he does as he begins to have praise in this fellowship, one of the things that he does, look at what he says. He says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my, all my heart. See, the blessing of fellowship and gathering is to know that I've got to give my all in praise. Somebody ought to put that down right now. Somebody ought to chat that right now. That I've got to give my all in praise. 
Okay, can I can I come and kiss you real quick? Look at what he says. He says, I will give thanks unto the Lord. Matter of fact, the NIV version, he says, I will, I will extol the Lord with all my heart. Meaning that extol means I'm gonna give God the high praise. Okay, let me see it. To extol the Lord, uh, to exalt the Lord means I'm come to give him high praise. I did not come to church to see uh, who's here and who's not. I did not come to bear witness uh, of what somebody has on or who they're with. I didn't come to be distracted by foolishness or ignorance or gossip or defaming or putting down folk. He says, I come, he says, to extol the Lord with all my heart, with my every being. Why? Because in essence, I'm going to give God the highest of praise because he is Lord. He says, hold hard. He says, I'm going to do this with all of my being. In essence, he says, this is a, I'm coming to celebrate God because of his graciousness in dealing with his people. See, that's when the psalmist is written. It was written as a way to celebrate God for his graciousness unto his people. Okay, see, that's where you miss the place to shout and to give God your highest praise. Because whenever you walk into the sanctuary, you ought to walk into the sanctuary saying God I'm come to give you thank you I come to praise you because you've been gracious okay can I can I help you do something real quick can I help you Facebook come on and talk back to me it says I just want you to think about everything that could have happened to you this week I want you to think about everything that could have happened to you that could have messed you up that could have made you fall that could have made you stumble that could oh see I need to talk to somebody who's willing to admit uh, there's a whole lot of could have that could have happened this week but because when I come into the sanctuary I come to say God thank you for being gracious that's why I give my all in worship that's why I give my all in praise because in essence I come to say God thank you for being gracious but then not only he says that but then catch this the C portion of that he says in the council of the upright. In essence, he says, I come to give God the praise. I come to worship God in the fellowship, in the gathering, not only with all my heart, but with others who are willing to do it with all their heart. Okay, so y'all missed that. I don't know why I got to work this hard after the Sunday, after Thanksgiving. Catch this, catch this. Look, look, he said, not only do I come to give God the praise with all my heart, but the blessing of the fellowship is to unite with others who want to give God praise. Okay, see, 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 can I, can I help you real quick? For those who are here in the sanctuary, uh, I need you to do a road check because you need to know who's in your row. <laughs> okay, see, so y'all missed out right there. I, I need you on Facebook. I need you to check who's around you right now. Come on YouTube. I need you to check of who is in your atmosphere and stratosphere because when I come to give God glory whether I'm doing it on the, whether I'm doing it virtual or I'm doing it inside the sanctuary. I want to come with those who have a like mindedness who want to give God all of the praise. I don't hear nobody helping me right now. I need you to check around you because see I when, when I think about everything that could have happened to me I don't need nobody around me who gonna play I wanna I wanna get with those who wanna worship God and say thank you Lord and wanna praise God because they realize that if it had not been for the Lord on their side I don't know where I would be I come to give him all my praise uh, because the Bible declares where two or more present, he, he will be in the midst. Uh, and see, so you got to understand that the Lord says in John chapter 4, verse 24, God, God is spirit and th those his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. I want to be among those who know how to worship God as well. <laughs> Uh, because when I don't feel like lifting a hand, you can encourage me. When I don't feel like praising God, you can encourage me. When I don't feel like lifting them up, uh, you can encourage me. I don't need you to join my pity party. I need you to help pull me. Okay, y'all don't. 
Okay, catch this. Uh, I gotta come on Facebook. Look, I need some others around me who are willing to give God the praise. The psalmist in essence says the congregation uh, is the assembly of those who come to worship God. As a matter of fact, here in the NIV, it says the council. The council is those who you are united by a sense of common fellowship. Oh my God. And he says, listen, in the council, the common fellowship of others who are to worship God with all their heart but catch this he says of the upright catch this the upright is in essence those who are part uh, of the true Israel those who are part of God's chosen people see listen when you start worshiping God among those uh, who don't know God they think you peculiar or a little crazy okay when you start worshiping God among those who don't know God they think something's wrong with you uh, when you start worshiping God among those uh, who, are, who are saying you know that's just good luck to them you're doing a little something a little weird uh, when you're worshiping with God uh, among those who are immature or who just know God but he may not know them uh, they gonna think you tripping and that's the crowd who says it don't take all of that see you don't know how good God's been to me he says the upright meaning these are those uh, who have motivated in worship of God because they acknowledge who God is and so therefore when I come to praise God when I come to bless God in the fellowship I don't want to be with those who are playing around and playing church see y'all quiet see y'all don't like me when I preach like this I don't want to be with those uh, who are just coming to church uh, uh, who is not real with God uh, I don't want to be around those uh, who don't really need a breakthrough uh, or don't feel like you need a breakthrough see I don't want to hang out with those uh, who feel like when they show up okay God uh, this is is all about me. You think you all of that in a bag of chips? Uh, if you know the hell that I've been through, I don't need with. I don't need to be hanging out with those uh, who are playing church. Uh, I need somebody who know how to get a breakthrough. Somebody who need to get a prayer through. Somebody who knows uh, how to touch heaven. I need to be around who have a commonness of giving God high praise. He says uh, in the council of the upright, uh, uh, but then listen, catch this. He also then ends, he ends by saying in, in the assembly, catch this. The assembly here is in essence defined as a public place of praise. Uh, okay, so y'all missed that. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's in essence in the assembly. It says I come to a public place. Now hold up, I, now, 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 I know I got some of y'all looking at me uh, like Minister Loretta who's saying, well, you know, I know how to worship God. Uh, uh, in the midst of my in my space, you know, I have my devotionals with Lord. I I, I, I can worship God, and, and you know, at times and be by myself. And, and there are times we need to have that kind of worship. I, I understand that, but there is nothing like being in the assembly. <laughs> okay, there's nothing like being among those uh, who are willing to give God all, and among those uh, who are willing to say, God, uh, I'm not worried about who is around me, but I'm worried. But God. I want to get in touch with you. He says, he says in the assembly, look at somebody and say, I don't mind making this public. Okay, see, that's it. See, I don't mind making my praise uh, public. See, 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 if you, uh, if the only time you can worship God and you can praise God and you can testify to who God is, uh, if the only time uh, you can lift up holy hands, if the only time you can cry out unto the Lord, if the only time you have tears for God, if the only time you're willing to rock and to, and to cry in the swing sometimes if the only time is you can sing the songs of Zion if the only time you can cry out Lord Lord uh, I need you right now it's in the sanctuary I'm telling you right now uh, I'm praying for you there are times where you need to let God know who he is in the public assembly okay I uh, see I need to talk to some folk uh, who knows what it's like uh, that you was in a grocery store and when the car went through. You said, oh, hallelujah. Okay, see, y'all not with me yet. I need to talk to some folk who's been on the phone with Union Power or Duke Energy. And when they said, oh, don't worry about it, we're going to give you a few more days and then you can pay it when you get paid. And you said while you was on 
the phone with Duke Energy. Hallelujah. Okay, see y'all, I need to talk to some folk who knows what it's like to go into the rent office and know they're getting ready to evict you. But then the Lord's favor showed up. And in the midst of the Lord's favor showing up, you was able to get an extension. And in the rent office, you were able to say hallelujah. Okay, see y'all, see I'm trying to help somebody. I need to talk to somebody who's been on the phone with the mortgage company, knowing that you don't know when your next mortgage payment was going to come. But through some way, God's favor showed up. In the midst of it, you was able to get some assistance through some kind of program you never heard about or never knew about. But God made a way. But in that, while you're on the phone with your mortgage company, you are willing to say, hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I've been on my job and had to say hallelujah. I've been in a classroom and had to say hallelujah because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is there anybody out there who's willing to say sometimes my praise needs to go public. I need everybody to know who my God is. I need everybody to know the kind of God I worship. I need everybody to know that I serve a God who is the Alpha and Omega. Is there anybody here who's willing to admit that I'm going to bless the Lord at all times? In his praise continues to be in my mouth. And somebody come on and magnify the Lord with me. Let us rejoice at his name together. I'm in the assembly. I'm amongst those who are believers. And if you're not a believer, by the time I finish giving my God some praise, you ought to want to know about my God. Look at somebody and say, uh, I know what it's like uh, to be in the doctor's office uh, and shout. Uh, I know what it's like uh, to be at the hospital uh, and give God glory. Uh, I know what it's like uh, to be in a courtroom uh, and say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, I know what it's like uh, to be in front of a judge uh, and say, hallelujah uh, to the most high God. Get somebody and say today I'm going to make my praise public I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to say God thank you for not giving up on me matter of fact I'm going to get ready so you get on social media and you share everything else how about getting on social media and say God thank you get on Facebook say God thank you get on Instagram God thank you Get on Snapchat. God, thank you. Get on TikTok. Do a video of you giving God some praise because God is a good God. I got to get out of here. Look at somebody that say, my praise just isn't about church. My praise just isn't about the temple. My praise is wherever I sense the presence of God and whenever I see God at work, I'm willing to give him the praise. The blessing of fellowship and gathering is that I give God my all. But it is also about being amongst others who will give God their all. But then it's also about making my praise public. <laughs> Because I realize the graciousness of God. If you read through the text, Brother Lamel, I know you're an astute study, and because you're a musician and you're on the drums, you're not always able to take notes. You, I know you're going to go home and read all the Psalms 111. You will see the psalmist 
acknowledging the graciousness of God throughout the whole psalm. And he gives us and identifies to us within verse number one how he going to do it. He says, first, my accountability is for me to give God my all. And he says, in the council, oh, the, oh, right, I'm going to get among my brothers and sisters and I'm going to give God my all with others who know how to do the same thing. But then he says, in the assembly, don't confuse this to think this is the assembly of just the upright. He identified them. The assembly in his terminology is public. It is to say that I'm willing to give God praise publicly for his graciousness. Because if the only time you ever lift him up is when you're in the temple or among those you feel comfortable with, if that's the only time, then I'm telling you, you're robbing God of his glory. And there is a blessing of being in the fellowship and in the gathering which allows me to freely give God glory. So there is a blessing in the fellowship. There is a blessing in the, the gathering. There is strength. There is encouragement. There is hope when I'm able to come into the temple and worship with others who are willing to give their whole heart. Now, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not ignorant to the fact that, you know, there'll be some that come in here and they, they not focus like that. But don't let them discourage your spirit. Okay, see y'all. Uh, all right, I know, I know. Uh, I know, yeah. Uh, yeah, come on, Facebook. That was for you because they're looking around. They're looking at me like, who he talking about? Hey, okay, okay. I'm just, just, come on, come on, come on, YouTube. Because they, they eye me the wrong way. Where my security at? I'm talking about those who are not real with their worship. And if that's you, ouch. It should hurt. Because it's time out for folk coming into the house of the Lord. And you playing with him. I'm so, I want to give God so much glory for his graciousness. I can't tickle. I got I to gotta give him my all because I know what he's done for me. And I ain't talking about 30 years ago. I'm not talking about 10 years ago. I ain't talking about last month. I'm talking about what I've been through this week. And somebody could testify, Pastor, you're talking about what I got, what I had to get him to this morning. The blessing of the fellowship. Everybody here in the sanctuary is just standing. We've got to get out of here. We're going to be dealing with this whole blessing of the fellowship and the gathering. But there ought to be a praise in the fellowship. <laughs> And the psalmist starts us out perfect by saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah. He starts out by giving us and identifying to us one, his kind of praise. Then the praise among those who he's with. But then also the public aspect of his, of his praise for God's graciousness. Matter of fact, I, I, I would suggest to you that the amount of stuff our young people are going through, and we need to get some of them to learn how to praise publicly. And listen, I want to I say this, because at times, at times, at times, AJ, what tends to happen is people think of praise, and they think of our, at times, expressional praise of shouting or praising God. 
Uh, I can give God some praise and change the atmosphere and don't have to run around the building. I'm not above or beneath that. I, I, I can give God some praise and turn the atmosphere, even if I'm not shouting and, and dancing unto the Lord. It's about what's in your spirit. Because it's not about embarrassing you or the God that we serve. No, when we give God praise, it is to exalt him. That they can see that there's realness behind your worship. So we're going to deal with this to reacquaint ourselves with fellowship and gathering. And no, our fellowship and gathering isn't like all others. Can I deal with this? Coming to the temple, to the sanctuary, isn't like going to a stadium or an arena or a theater. It isn't like going to the mall. It isn't like other social gatherings. There's something different about the assembly. See, when you go to those other areas or, or events or arenas, it's about those places or things there you're going to. And it's about how they entertain you <laughs> and how it makes you feel. See, y'all, boy, y'all don't like me when I teach like this. But when we come to the sanctuary, it's not about being entertained, it's not about you, it's about God. So I don't want you to bring what you do out there in here. Okay, see, LaMail, they don't like me. Can I come to your church and preach? Catch this. It's not, that's, that's not the same. So the blessing in fellowship and gathering is that we recognize the graciousness, the mercy, and the love of God. And we come together to acknowledge that. <laughs> we come to, to testify of it. And we come to witness his power. I know I just said a lot. I'm going to take you through it. For somebody today who, who don't know Jesus, you, you have not quite understood what this is all about. But today, you're acknowledging, you know what? I know now. Because I sense the power. I want to do something I have not done before. I want to surrender my life. Preacher, how do I do that? The Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe it upon your heart that he came, he died, he rose, he ascended, he sat at the right hand of the Father. The Bible says you shall be saved. Pastor, you're talking to me. I want to be in that fellowship. I want to connect with those who have a commonness that I am to want to worship God. And today I want to I want to invite Jesus into my life. If that's you, you want to pray this prayer for the first time, repeat this after me. Heavenly Father, I've sinned against you. I want, <laughs> I want forgiveness of my sins. I repent of my wicked ways. Heavenly Father, today I believe you sent your son Jesus to die for me. I believe he rose for me. I believe he ascended for me. I believe he's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for me right now. Heavenly Father, today, take my life, take my heart as I surrender it to you. And I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. I receive the gift of thy Holy Spirit. And as I confess with my mouth and believe upon my heart, today 
I say yes to you and I say amen. If that's you, you are saved. I want you to do something. I want you to call the church office 704 392 uh, because I want to pray with you. I want to affirm to you that this relationship is real. And there's somebody else who says, you know, Pastor, I've been watching. I mean, the Heights Ministries have been blessing me. The Wild Wednesday teachers have been blessing me. I mean, whenever we do a night of prayer and a night of worship, it has blessed me. And for all other items that I've been, I've been had the opportunity to, attack, to, to attend and be a part of, I'm telling you, it has fed my spirit and my soul. And I need a covering. I need a shepherd. I need a pastor that is willing to preach to me, that's willing to teach me, that's willing to counsel me, that's willing to pray for me, that's willing to line up beside me and help me grow and mature in my walk with God, who allows me to exercise my gift and anointing among those who are common, who want to worship God with all their heart and who want to equip kingdom citizens. I need a church home. I need a place to call home so that I can worship with all my heart among others who are willing to worship with all the heart. And I want to make the Heights Ministries my place to call home. I want you to be my pastor because I believe that together we can equip kingdom citizens. If that's you, call the church office, 704-392-0520. I'd love to be your pastor. I'd love to serve you and serve along with you. And I thank God for you today. For everyone here in the sanctuary, for those on Facebook, for those who have been joining us on YouTube, the blessing of the fellowship and gathering is that it allows us to praise our God in the fellowship. <laughs> I pray that you've been blessed today. I pray that you've received oh, a spiritual breakthrough. Now may the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest with and abide with us all. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, those who are here in the sanctuary, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.